Hey everybody, it's Tyler Horvath with Titan Media. Got a new video for you today. We are going to be talking about cPanel and how to create an email account in your uh, cPanel interface. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with what cPanel is. Um, it's a uh, web hosting management console um, that allows you to um, automate and make the process of hosting a website a lot easier. Um, and today we're going to show you uh, how to create email accounts in cPanel. So when you buy a domain and get hosting for it um, and you have cPanel, you can create emails with your domain in it. So for example, um, we have Titan Media C panel up here, um, and we want to create a new email um, that is test at titanmedia.com. So in order to do that, we're going to log on to our C panel um, interface, and we're going to scroll down to the email section here, um, and we're going to choose email accounts. And uh, this is where you can add uh, email accounts. Uh, depending on your hosting plan, uh, you could uh, be able to add unlimited email accounts or one or five. Um, but of course, we're on Titan Media's dedicated server, uh, so we can add unlimited um, email accounts. So to add an email account, we're going to have to fill out this simple little form here. Um, and it's quite simple. Just uh, type in the email uh, name that you would like to use. Uh, a lot of times people will use their first initial and their last name or just their first name. Um, it's completely up to you. You can make uh, all those if you like, uh, but we're just going to show you how to do it in this example. So we're going to choose test at and then our domain and uh, here you can choose subdomains if you like uh, we're not going to do that um, we're just going to use test at titanmedia.com uh, and then you're going to choose a password for it I uh, highly recommend using the password generator uh, it'll create you a really secure password um, and this will help a lot with uh, getting hacked and uh, making your site more more secure so click that generate password button copy your password choose that you've copied it uh, click use password and that will insert it into um, the password fields uh, make sure that you copy that password down somewhere uh, I wouldn't suggest writing it uh, down on anywhere near your computer but maybe opening up a, a notepad or uh, an Excel file and saving all your information in there so that uh, you can get it for a later reference um, You'll need to use this information a lot uh, if you're going to be uh, adding your email to your iPhone or Android device. Uh, you'll need all this information to be able to incorporate that email into your uh, device. Uh, if you're using Outlook or any other client like that, you'll need to uh, enter this info in there. So make sure that you um, have this written down somewhere. Uh, now the mailbox quota. Um, if you want to limit the amount of uh, mail that a certain email can receive, uh, you can enter a quota. So here, this one's selected uh, for a uh, 1,024 megabyte quota. Um, but we are going to click unlimited because um, we don't care how many emails come to this email account because um, it's just a just a test email. So when everything's uh, looking good, click create account and it's going to start creating your email for you. Uh, as you see here, it says that your account is now created. So we now have that, that email and then we can scroll down here to all of our emails that we have. Uh, we see that test at titanmedia.com is now a registered email account. Um, and we can now set up the mail client if we like. Uh, we could um, access the webmail. We can check the, the mail from the web without even having to connect a client. Um, but we will show you how to do all of these in our next videos. 
So be sure to uh, follow our channel and subscribe so that you can get these great how-to videos on how to use cPanel. Thanks and have a good day.